What is up guys, welcome back to another video. As you can see, 150 RB is gone. On this side, 250 R is gone. So both of those bikes are gone. Got a big chunk of change in my pocket, but today we're actually going to pick up another bike. I mentioned in a couple videos ago that I wanted to get a YZ125, so we're gonna go check one out right now. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna get the ramp and we should be out of here. Alrighty guys, so here's the, the new build. It is a, when I went to buy it, it was supposed to be a 2013 YZ125. And it just looked like it had this, uh, the 2015-2020 restyle kit. But apparently not. This is a 2015, 10th letter on the VIN is an F, which stands for 2015. It's not too bad. It looked like it had an oil leak, but I'm pretty sure that's coming out the exhaust. Uh, forks leak. Rear shock might leak. Not sure. 100%. Pipe, you know, just your average two-stroke. A couple of dings and dents. Other than that, the bike's not that bad. Tires are usable. Overall, pretty clean two-stroke. Starts right up. I'll get her off the stand, wash her down. As you can see, it's kind of crusty in here. Wash her down and then get some raw two-stroke uh, sound clips. But yeah, let me go run inside and yeah, I'll be right back. Alrighty, so we got the bike cleaned up. That's, looks weird. Makes it look like the bike's messed up. But yeah, for the most part, she's all cleaned up. Um, I didn't have any engine degreaser or like degreaser and stuff. And this thing, it has a whole lot of oil around it, so... I can't get that cleaned up, but other than that, tires, they're worn, but they're not too bad. FMF Power Core 2. Um, it's, it's not too bad of a bike. It's got good compression on there. So yeah, we'll see what we can make out of this bike. Not too bad. 2015 YZ125. Let me see if I can... Uh, Get her nice and dried off and then get a sound test for you. Alrighty guys, so the bike's all washed up. Uh, I'm just gonna dry off the plastics real quick. That's, I didn't do a really good job of washing it because I didn't, I can barely see anything. It's like eight, nine o'clock. This bike was a last minute decision. So yeah. Time for a sound test. Uh, let's start this thingy up. Let's see how she runs. She runs, which is not too bad, but yeah, before the neighbors call the cops, uh, let's work on these front forks.
front forks off the bike. All you gotta do to clean out front forks, I'm not gonna bore you guys to death, but if you guys wanna know, uh, take off the dust seal, get something thin, like from a, I usually use an orange juice bottle or something, cut out a little, I'll show you the shape in a minute, but you cut it out, stick it in there, clean it up inside, and then do the same to the other side, and then you just compress the forks, and then you put the dust seal back on, and 50% of the time it works. Now I'm more like 75. On my 250 it didn't work, but good thing I sold that bike. Uh, and on this bike, I mean, hopefully it worked. Aw, oh, man, I just put, pulled the front brake. So now it's probably gonna be stuck, but yeah. Uh, we got a little dent in the pipe here, which isn't crazy, but stay tuned for a video. I'll show you how to get that pipe or a dent out. But other than that, the bike's pretty clean. So yeah, let's get this uh, these forks worked on. All right, guys. So here is the first fork that we're gonna be working on. Um, what you're gonna want to do is just get a screwdriver and pry it through the dust seal. That should not be hard at all. Um, as you can see, whenever I do it, you can see that there is some oil on my thing. Uh, what you're gonna wanna do is get something, clean it out inside there. So maybe just like this rag. Should work. Yeah, got some junk out of there. Now you're just gonna wanna get this right here and insert it into your dust seal and just spin it around. And when you pull it out, it should pull out a little bit of oil and a little bit of dirt. And when you got that, that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and do this a lot quicker and I'll get back on the camera whenever I get this finished. That way I can make sure my forks are good and it's actually really easy. Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna pump this fork a few times for you real quick. Drop this one down, this one, pump it down real quick. And put them right next to each other. I'll show you the difference. Here, this is the one I just cleaned. As you can tell, no oil. This one, still the dirty one. You can see that right there. All that it took is this little tool you can see on the edge where it got a little bit darker. That's just getting inside the dust seal or the second oil seal and cleaning it up, camera would focus. Don't want to, all right. Anyways, you can either buy those for like, uh, they're fairly cheap, they're like five bucks. It's called uh, Seal Saver or something like that. But I made that one for free. So pretty much just find any cheap plastic and you'll get that to that. So yeah, not bad, not bad. Uh, Let's go over to the next one. I'm not gonna record that one, just so I don't know, bore you guys to death. And then, yeah, I'll show you the difference. We'll throw it back on the bike. So you can see the bike's off the stand. And yeah, and then I'll go over some, uh, I guess, garage updates and what I'm gonna be doing because of this coronavirus type of thing. So yeah, let's get this thing finished and not looking too bad um forks don't leak anymore so that's actually a plus i also have these uh hand guards i pulled off the 250 i think they'll look good so i think i'll throw those on real quick and 
yeah, I'll be back whenever I throw one. Alrighty, so there you go. I think that looks a little bit better. Still need to take off these uh old graphics off. I'll probably buy some new ones. Maybe like a 2020 style kit. These graphics are put on like junk. So now to the coronavirus theme. This is my dad's 230. That's the PW80. Um, there's the 125. I think it looks pretty nice the way it is. I'll probably just ride it like this for a while. But yeah, coronavirus, we're out of school as of right now up until the end of April. So that's a good thing and a bad thing. Good thing we don't have school. Bad thing, it's hard to get out and record some YouTube videos for you guys. Um, I've been so bored. PW80 runs like a dream now, I think. Nice. One second. So yeah, this thing actually runs now. Uh, 230 actually runs too. Make sure the key is off. I won't start it up because it's a little bit louder. But yeah, this weekend, they're opening up our local trails. So the plan is, the reason I really bought this bike was to probably go out and ride this weekend. Hopefully, I will be able to and I will record a YouTube video. It'll just be more of a riding video. And yeah, but coronavirus is not fun. I'm actually surprised I was able to get this bike. And hopefully we don't get shut down because that's going to be real bad. I also got a new mountain bike. It's pretty sweet. F front forks are air. Rear shock is air. Hydraulic brakes and everything. I've been riding this a lot because I did sell the 150 RB and the 250. I made I made quite a hefty profit on the 150. I don't even know if I should say it, but yeah. So I've been doing a lot of jumps on mountain bikes. Let me know in the comments if you guys want us to make more videos on mountain bikes. If you guys be interested in watching them, because honestly, I don't know if anybody wants to watch them, but yeah, we could post a lot more videos on mountain bikes because they just it takes two minutes to wash it. I have a whole bunch of trails next to me. But yeah, other than that, thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for a thousand subscribers. Um, and yeah, peace.